Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to uh, go over all of my gear that I brought out for my overnighter, so stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we should probably go over is what I use to put all my gear into. This is a 25 liter rucksack by Outdoor Products. It is uh, all Molly compatible on the sides, on the front. It has a large pocket in the front, a medium pocket, which you can put all of your electronics in, and then a tiny pocket in the front. And because it's Molly compatible, this sack right here, which I am not gonna go over in this video, is full of all of my personal items. And it has a water bottle carrier here, and then another small pocket here, and a small pocket up top. It also has a water hydration system built in. You can put it in the back of the bag, and then your hose can come to the top, and you can just Velcro it back down. But I've actually never used it before, but it's possible. For my shelter, I used a Ozark Trail three-man tent. I bought it at Walmart. It is a warm weather tent, so it wasn't the best choice for me to take out into the woods. Because it is a warm weather tent and it was very cold, I was very cold. If you want to check out the tent, you can check it out in my last video, the Overnight in the Green Swamp video, or I can link it down below and you can uh, check it out through there. For my sleeping pad, I used a Exqualine Ultralight sleeping pad. It's, uh, it's not the greatest sleeping pad in the world, but it gets the job done for what I need in the woods. For my sleeping bag, I used a Ozark Trail 40 degree cool weather sleeping bag. It packs down really nice. It's a little bit on the heavy side, but it's actually quite small. And I can fit it right into the bottom of my bag. Really? <laughs> my, cat, my cat's coughing up a fur ball as we speak. <laughs> I brought a wool blanket. I didn't know I was going to need it, but I'm glad that I brought it because I stuffed it inside of my sleeping bag when I realized how bloody cold it was outside. I also brought a shemag, and if you don't know what a shemag is, it's basically to me it's just a piece of fabric that you can use to keep yourself warm, you can use to filter water, you can use it to keep yourself cool as well if you wet it with water, but I actually used mine to wrap around my head in the middle of the night when it was cold, and I also used it as a pillow. I want to talk about my cooking gear and my water filtration system. I kept everything in this um, military sack that my friend gave me and uh, it just keeps everything together and that way I don't lose things because I'm very prone to losing things which is why I also like bright colors. Except for this, not a bright color, but it's okay, it works fine. For my cooking situation, besides a little bit of fire cooking that I did, not very much, I brought out my fuel and my stove that goes on top, which I have showed you guys in a different video. I believe it was the Coffee Talk in the Bush video. I went over what this is. Ooh. I also brought out my Billy Can, which also, as I stated, I always bring two ways of cooking, so that was in there as well. My little coffee cup, which I'm sure you guys saw. Bam, son. And my coffee and tea stuff. I also brought out my Sawyer filter. This is the bag and this is the filter part. It's the Sawyer Mini. I really like it. It does have a very slow um, rate of flow to it. And if you don't know what that means, basically it's how fast the water comes in and out through the filtration system. Well, not out, I guess. Basically how it comes out of here. So what you do is you just, oh, bam, son. Put it right on there. You can open this up. I'm not going to do it now because there's nothing in it and then you can just drink from it or you can gravity filter it which when you hang it upside down and you can let it filter on its own or you can just hand squeeze it into a bottle and make sure you have clean drinking water. I've never gotten sick from drinking and I've drank some pretty danky mud water so I've never gotten sick. Anybody who I know who's used this has never gotten sick so as long as you take care of it and keep it back flushed you should be good to go. For my cutting tools, I brought out a Fisker's handsaw. This is a really old one, so it already has a bend to it, but it's okay. It works fine. You can buy these at Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart. You can buy these anywhere, and they have all kinds of little handsaws. Actually, in, in the section in Walmart, that's the outdoor section, you can actually buy a really nice little saw that's pretty similar to a silky saw, just not as expensive. If you don't know what a silky saw is, I will also put that down below there. Very, very good hand saws. I've been wanting one for a very long time. Also, just like I have two ways of cooking things, I also have two ways of processing wood. And this is the Gerber Free Arm. It is a really nice, beefy little knife. It fits very nice in my hand. 
and I had my buddy shave down the window smasher here so it doesn't poke me when I'm walking. I haven't put a lanyard on it, but I do actually plan to. I should do that today, actually. But this knife is nice. It's been through a lot, and um, I plan on keep putting it through a lot. So The sheath that it comes in is not my favorite type of sheath. The only thing I really like about it is the back because you can just unsnap it and snap it back down to put it on your belt. It is also <clears throat> makes it easier to attach to my bag in the Molly compatible sections, but it doesn't, it's not coming out. It's not coming out if I'm jumping up and down or anything, you have to give it a good tug for it to come out. And not that Gerber's gonna be watching my videos, but the fact that this has two straps on it is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Nobody ever, ever is gonna sit there and unstrap two things when they're trying to get their knife out. And then on top of that, it's annoying when you can only strap one because you got this stuff just flapping around on you. So Gerber, if you're watching that, fix that. Nobody likes that. But Gerber, if you want to sponsor me, I'd be down with that. I really do like all your products. It's just not that particular thing. This is a good knife. For lighting, Besides fire and natural daylight, I just brought out my Energizer 150 lumen headlamp. It works great. It, uh, it's bright enough to keep me doing what I need to do. It was okay for filming and it's adjustable. I also brought out a portable charger. This is from T-Mobile. I'm actually not sure where I got it, when I got it. Um, even though I went in my car, I still think it's very important to carry something like this because we are so such an electronically based world right now, and that's how my GPS is. So if something happens, I have a GPS that I can get to very quickly. With one of these, I can keep it charged constantly. If something happened in my car, I have a backup. Also, paracord. This is probably, I don't know, 100 foot worth of paracord. I've used this for a lot of things. The last trip I went on with my buddy in the overnighter, the overnighter on the trail, uh, we use this to make a clothesline. We use this to tie to what I was going to show you next, our stainless steel thing. This is actually his, but I keep it. I don't know why I keep getting it. And we actually tied the paracord to the top of the brim and threw it out into the lake so it was a little bit easier for us to get water. Also. Book spray. Very important. Don't want to get no chigger bites, mosquito bites, biting gnats, ticks, whatever you can think of. Even though I always come home with a tick, 99% of the time I will spray myself down and I still get ticks. Book spray. It's important. And lastly, my little fire kit. Um, I went over what was in my fire kit in the video, but it's pretty sparse right now because I did use a lot of my stuff so before I go out next time I will repack my little fire kit. Um, I've already put away my clothes while well, I put them in the washer. They were pretty danky and gross. I sweat a lot so we just we don't need to talk about that. Um, also my food. I've already eaten it so but I did bring just a can of soup and a couple snacks and lots and lots of water. I was not I did not have access to clean drinking water when I was there. I didn't want to put my Sawyer through all of that work constantly when I could just go to the store and grab a couple gallons and bring it with me. So I obviously don't have that to show you, but yeah. Alright guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Like I said I will go ahead and link as many items as I can down below a lot of my gear I bought on like blowout sales and stuff just to buy it because it was cheap at that time and I actually still have it so I can't link that kind of stuff but again I thank you for watching the video and if you could as always go ahead and smash that thumbs up button smash it good smash it hard hard as you can and uh, a share a subscribe a like a comment anything you guys feel like would be awesome just do it do it just do it Ba-bam, son!